Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Tanaka here, back with another video. In this video, we're going for Paul Salas here. We got the rarest card in the game. We're dropping the ball from right now. We're gonna hop right into the video. No intro, really, let's just hop in the video. We're gonna drop our first ball. Can we get Paul Silas? And wow, we do end up getting Paul Silas on our first ever ball drop for Paul Silas which is pretty, pretty crazy for me. So we did end up getting the rarest card in the game. So we're gonna show off his stats, his badges, and, and go into a trip with the online game and see what he can do. So have you guys got Paul Salas? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys gone for Paul Salas? He is a very, very hard, hard card to get. So let me know if you guys have gone him or gone for him in the, in the past, or you're gonna go for him in the future for the last couple of days. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe down below. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Without further ado, let's get on to Paul Silas video as you guys can see in that last clip we did end up actually getting paul styles for our team so in this video we're going to go over his stats and badges and go look at him in freestyle show show off some of his animations and then probably hop into a trip with an online game just to show you guys a little bit of his defense this is not a gameplay but just want to show you guys that we did end up getting the rarest card in the game paul silas so if you look at paul silas's stats he's a power forward small forward he's six foot seven so not a bad height He's got 92 close shot, 85 mid-range, only 77 three-pointer. We'll talk about that in a second. 85 driving dunk is really, really good. 86 ball handle, 82 block, 92 steal, 89 perimeter defense, and 90 interior. So that's where Paul Silas definitely takes over games. And that's where definitely Paul Silas makes his presence known is on the defensive end by getting stops. And he has Hoff Interceptor, which we'll talk about in a second. But this card is mainly known for its defense. Rebounding still is 82 in both categories. You still can get some good rebounds. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, and 85 speed with ball was the craziest stat that I've seen on a Paul Silas. I thought he had maybe 85 speed, 84 speed, 86 speed. 92 speed. That is super, super fast for a Paul, a power forward, small forward who's six foot seven and mainly known for defense like that's like a that's almost like a guard speed just with a higher speed ball that's crazy to me 85 vertical 85 strength 90 stamina 85 hustle and 92 lateral quickness so this card is definitely a defensive monster if we're talking about the hoff badges and the badges he's got four hoff 23 gold and eight silvers the four hoffs being interceptor intimidator pogo stick and Taos defender so i say three of those these top three are honestly really really good hall of fame badges especially that hoff interceptor we all know if you guys have played 2k this year and maybe years in past this badge is really, really, really good. So next badges we got here for the gold are Fields Finisher, Acrobat, Brick Wall, Rim, Rim Protector, Pick Dodger, Chase Hunters, Clamps, Off Ball Pass, Rebound Chaser, Giant Slayer, Silly Finisher, Quick First Step. That's really crazy on him. Ball Stripper, Hustler, Silver Break Starter, Pickpocket Box, Bela on Triple Wall, and finally Silver Bullet Passer. So Paul Silas definitely looks like a demon. We're going to hop into Freestyle and test out his jumper and see what kind of dunk animations he can get. Into freestyle looking at Paul Silas. So honestly, he has shifty dribble style. If anybody doesn't know what that is, basically it's just dribble style that most point guards that are good have, like Gary Payton. Um, who else has it? Clay Thompson has it. Steve Francis has it. John Moran has it. I mean, either quick or shifty. I'm pretty sure Paul Silas has a quicker does have shifty. Um, quick and shifty is basically the same thing. So it basically allows him to do this kind of burst animation. It's not that good on Paul Silas, but it's a lot better on other point guards. But still, it's pretty nice for him to be able to create his own shot. But we're talking about jump shot. He basically has that Draymond Green kind of back back you know hunch over back shot honestly i think it's a little slow release so he's not able to like you know pull up in people's faces but if he's wide open off a pop or wide open in the corner i definitely think with the 77 three ball and with this chicken of a release i think he's gonna be able to knock down most wide open shots um again you can give him a, a plus four a plus three uh three point boost if you really want to um and then with the plus five curry coach or whatever coach you have that's easily an 82 three pointer right off the rip and then if you want to add a plus three that's 85 i think that's very agreeable you also probably can give him some badges because i'm pretty sure he can get some shooting badges um i'm not 100 percent sure don't count me on that i think he can get shooting badges though so you may want to give him you know maybe like catch and shoot if he doesn't already have it maybe want to give him a little spot up so he can pull for a bit deeper maybe want to give him you know dead eye maybe want to give him sniper if you have like unlimited mt maybe want to give him you know a bunch of good shooting badges maybe some other badges you want to give him in the future as well um for me i'm not gonna add any badges to him i think you know for how he's gonna play on my team i think he's fine for now um i think he's a very very good card and he doesn't play on my main team right now but i'm just about to sell most of my cards i'll be making a video about that on the future in the future but um when i sell my team this card will, will probably start for me easily so he's gonna need to play a big role in the next coming days and weeks i guess you could say until i buy back a really good team so he'll be on my lineup pretty much until the next 250k qualifiers unless a lot of things change in the future um in this next coming month because because now nah, next season we are going to be going for like not the first like um 12 and 4 or 12 and 0 reward whatever it is but we're going to go for like one of the not the one of the first we're going to we're going to try to get it like as soon as possible um to get it to get it to get shown onto your knocked out of the way um 
So yeah, Paul Silas is going to be a big part of that team and a big part of that role. So we're going to have to get his jump shot down, learn how he plays, and get really good with his defensive Hoff Interceptor. And now we are going to have two Hoff Interceptor players on the same line, most likely being KG and Paul Silas, and that's going to be very scary for my opponent. So let's scream one more three, and let's hop into a trip of that online game, and let's just show off some defense with Paul Silas. I think for the trip of that online lineup, we're going to use James Harden, Clay Thompson, and Paul Silas just to give us the two guys, two guys can score the ball. And then Paul Silas will be our big. He might get bullied inside, but I do want to see what he can do. Actually, I think. I think I want to run a big because I want Paul Silas to be like on the I want Paul Silas to be on the wing. Yeah, so we're gonna run Giannis, Paul Silas, and Clay Thompson because I want Paul Silas to be on that wing to see what kind of baits we can get, what kind of rotations we can make with his Hoff interceptor. On offense, I guess we will go to him a bit on offense. Not really trying to score with him too much, but we will try to score a little bit with him. I mean, wide open three, gotta really be able to knock that down. Um again, mine doesn't have um goal limitless, so that's probably why I didn't make that. Um, almost got the steal there playing good defense again Paul Salas is just an all-around great great defender he's able to play really mobile defense he's able to get to a lot of shots and contest a lot of shots and grab rebounds just like that and we're running in transition Paul Salas running all the way gonna dot Giannis corner Giannis wide open bang good shot by Giannis and that's honestly Paul Salas um creating in the in the fast break honestly I think he'll be a great transition player as well to you know grab a rebound run in transition and throw a, throw a quick dime and get a lot of free points like that okay we're on defense now Jalen Brown, he's trying to post me up or whatever. We're there. Giannis, I trust Giannis. We're there. He's going to pass it back out. We got to watch that. He's going to pass it back door. Paul Silas gets back door because, again, Bela is so overpowered in this game, which is kind of tough, but nothing you can really do there. You're going to see Paul Silas again. We'll never do this on offense with him, but, you know, for this video, might as well. I'm going to shifty around him. Again, having shifty is really good for this Paul Silas card. As you can see, he gets a wide open dunk. That is very, very crucial. Um, having that having that shifty dribble style to be able to blow by his defender right there. No other, you know, power forward, small forward is going to really be able to do that. Look at Paul Silas, Hoff Interceptor activated. Let's go. Pass inside of Giannis. Giannis, easy dunk. Again, like I was saying, that's the Hoff Interceptor. That's where it goes crazy. Is he can just get a lot of those steals in the passing lanes, and it makes him really effective on the defensive end. Great defense by our Clay. Rebound by Giannis, see Paul Salas running in transition. He's going to dot Clay, who left is left wide open. I don't know why. Um, we take a 10-4 lead on our opponent. Again, don't really care about winning this game or really trying. Just want to see what Paul Salas can do on the defensive end. Maybe even switch him on to Shreyang, but I want to see what he can in these passing lanes as he takes a terrible shot there. So, not the best opponent to try it against, but hey, we're trying our best. Okay, Paul Salas is going to catch the ball. Let's see what he can do. Let's see, let's see what he can do on the offense. Can we get a three with him? That'd be pretty nice. Come around this screen. Around the screen. Paul Silas, wide open. Oh, we missed, man. These are greenable shots, not going to lie. I think these are greenable shots. I think we really got to start greening these shots, not going to lie to you. Good pass. Good pass with Trey Young. Trey Young wide open bag. But yeah, we got to green those shots. That's two shots. I feel like I should be able to I should be able to green with this card. Um, so yeah, not, not the best not the best for me, but we're trying right here. Okay, that's a little deep. Pass inside. Pass out. All right, give me another screen. I want to try to get a three ball. Kind of hard to get a three when this guy's like playing pretty high up, but whatever. That's a bad pass. All right, going to see Jalen Brown maybe. He's going to pass to Jalen Brown again. Again, just baiting each lane, playing good defense. Look at Paul Silas recovering there. Grabs the rebound. We're running a transition. He's got a really complete sideline. We're going to run in for the dunk. Pass out to Clay Thompson for the win. Clay Thompson, green bang! Paul Silas, great, great game there. Just want to show you guys how good of a card this, car this card actually is. And before we quit the game, let's just check his box score. So Paul Silas, um, four minutes, whatever, two points, four rebounds, seven assists, one steal, one turnover, so not bad. He did shoot over two from three. Again, got to be able to knock those down. But yeah, that is the Paul Silas. Not really gameplay, but that's just showing you guys we did get the rarest card in the game being Paul Salas. So let's go, let's go look at him real quick. So yeah, guys, in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys think about Paul Salas. Have you gone for Paul Salas? Have you got Paul Salas? Probably not because Paul Salas is a very, very card hard, very card, very hard card to get. And I do am not grateful, but I am like lucky to get Paul Salas. And I'm pretty happy to be able to have him on my team. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.